Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to line up your PDF files with your CAD data. You really don't want to skip this step because typically the PDF is the legal bid document, so you always want to use it to check your CAD data. In this example, I've already brought in my CAD file and sent the data to my appropriate uh, layers. I have my design and my existing built out, and I'm ready to import my PDF file. So I go up to File, Import, and I choose the PDF file or the bundle that I want to bring in. Click Import and it will load up. It gives me this little preview screen so I can scroll through the pages I want or I happen to know I want page three. I'll type that in. Another quick tip is I can point my cursor anywhere on this page and hit the space bar and uh, zoom in so I can actually read the title blocks. To zoom back out, I just hit the space bar again. So I'm going to bring in page three, hit OK, and it's going to open up in the AgTech import mode. The first thing I'm always going to do is hit my G key to open up that guide, click on scale drawing, and make sure that this scale is appropriate, 30 is right, hit OK. And now I don't need to vectorize the image or transfer data since I already have my CAD file, so I'm just going to hop into edit mode and line that PDF up. So to align the image, we just need to find a feature that we can see on both the PDF and on the CAD data. So I like to use you know, corners or distinctive contours, something like this that's going to be easy to spot on both the data set and the PDF. So once I find what I'm going to use, I right click my mouse and I choose Align Image. And then AgTech actually gives me instructions on what to do next in this bottom gray bar. So I'm always going to pick the first point on my PDF file. So let's zoom in and I'm just going to left click my mouse on this corner right here. Try to get right in the middle. Then I'm going to zoom back out and click on the exact same point here on my CAD data. Now AgTech just jumps that PDF over for me and I just want to scroll around to make sure that I got it lined up correctly. Looks like I did. So this was the clearing and demo plan. I'm also going to want the grading plan. So let's do the same process with a second PDF. Go up to File, Import, choose that same bundle, click Import. I'm just going to hit the Next button because I know the grading plan is next. Hit OK to bring it in. AgTech automatically brings it in at the same scale and just to the right of the first PDF. But if I hit G for Guide, I could have of course adjust that scale if I was using a new scale, but this is this is good for this drawing. So I'm going to follow the same procedure. I'll use that same distinctive contour. Right click my mouse, choose a line image, zoom in so I get it nice and accurate, zoom back out, zoom in on the data set, click that same point, make sure I got it lined up. I also have design data in here so I can make sure I lined that up correctly as well. Now if I needed to make a minor adjustment even you know a few centimeters over or something I would just right click my mouse and follow the same process with a line image. Now to toggle back and forth between the two PDFs I just hit the insert key on my keyboard with my cursor inside the boundary of the PDF and I can switch between the clearing and demo plan and the grading plan. I can also click on the border of any PDF I have, right click and hit import image file and it will switch that way as well. So I hope this helps and please let me know if you have any questions.